from Guy Ritchie, the director of Lock, Stock, and Two Smoking Barrels. Snatch. And Midge got whipped in the bitsies. Okay, I made that one up. Comes another magical Disney fantasy that dares to ask, what if poor people had upward mobility? Aladdin, but with people this time. You've heard all the complaints about live-action Disney remakes, their soulless recreations, bland corporate storytelling, and cynical risk-averse cash grabs. Well, yeah, we should all know the deal by now. But as far as soulless cash grabs go, this one is clumsily entertaining enough to remind you how fun Aladdin is. It's clumsy, but in a charming sort of a way. Or at least, make you feel like you're watching Disneyland's Agrabah sing-along stunt show. Can we go to Galaxy's Edge next? I want to assemble my own jizz flute. Welcome to Agrabah, a vaguely Middle Eastern soundstage made of parkour courses. Parkour! 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 Thrill add minor new additions to the famous story, like a handmaid the genie would like to friend. Jasmine's new psychic time freezing powers, and uh, typical Disney force diversity. They say that in Scotland. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> but don't worry, grown up fans, there aren't too many changes to your precious cartoon. In fact, all the characters are still two dimensional, with a cast of unknowns who, aside from Jasmine, will definitely stay that way, featuring an Aladdin who didn't even send his nipples off. A Jafar who went from over-the-top snake wizard to CBD-infused snake oil salesman. <laughs> and a Jasmine who doesn't need some man to do everything for because she already had a perfectly good woman for that. I'll draw the bath. Huh. Maybe she should be sold instead. At least she probably knows that bread costs money. Take some bread. Hey! She steal the bread! Stealing? No, I don't have any money. Bored? You will be until Will Smith's genie does his best to woo it up a notch. Woo! And don't let that teaser fool you, he's slightly less horrifying in the finished product. Watch Disney try to recapture that Robin Williams magic by casting another fast-talking 90s superstar. As Big Willie throws jokes, dancing, and auto-tune at you to another Arabian night. Until you use your final wish to just make him go chill out on a boat already. I think it's time that I told you the story. Huh, does that mean this whole movie is just some BS Will made up to get discount Jaden and Willow to stop complaining? Respect! So gather the family for a time-tested tale about lying your way into power that would have been more interesting if it were about Jasmine, Jafar's rise to prominence, whatever unholy union of man and beast that gave birth to Iago, who's a clever boy, or the French guy who either wrote or stole the story of Aladdin and snuck it into his translation of A Thousand and One Arabian Nights. But as far as a copy-pasted version of Aladdin with no Robin Williams goes, it's about as good as that could be. And apparently that's worth something. Like a billion somethings. The end. Starring Robin Williams. I love Lamp. DJ Jazzy Man. Cobra! I Dream of Jiggy. And animals playing the drums renaissance. The Disney Vault. They're just not sending Arendelle's best, all right, people? A rug's life. And parrots just don't understand. Lamp, Tramp, and Three Smoking Wishes. You can just make the law disappear? <laughs> Please, like it never existed. Does that apply to laws and monopolies? Asking for a friend. Good night, John Boy. It's my money, and I need it now. You lied, and I died. Short-term time machines for sale, only for a limited time. Michael and Helen, May 30th, 2020. Save the date.